Hey, are you sad that uh, they're taking Guiding Light off the air? I <laughs> am so angry at this. I'm starting a letter writing campaign. Yeah. To uh, keep the guiding light on. It has been one of my favorite shows since uh, it came out 72 years ago. 72 years. I remember catching that first episode Yeah, <laughs> on the radio. It was a radio serial. When you were just particles in the universe? You were, yes. You were checking out Guiding Light? It was a radio show first. But those people called? that just stood in front of the big lights, right. uh, in front of the big microphones yeah. and stuff, they're like, yes, Guiding Light. What, was it called Guiding Light back then? I, yes. I guess so. Jimmy said, I bet you there's someone out there that has watched every episode since 1978. And I'm thinking... 78. Some, uh, 72 years ago. No, no it's no. 1937. It became a radio No, but he's saying from 78, it's like, so he's saying the last, uh, there's probably people out there that haven't missed an episode in the last 30 plus years. Oh, yeah. And I, I say that that goes way higher. I bet you there's some 90-year-olds out there that, oh, yeah. that haven't missed this show in 50, yep. 60 years. What uh, what are they attributing it to? Low ratings, I would gather. Ratings. The whole world's uh, changing. That's yeah. what it, they're contributing it to. They don't care about a guiding light. Nah. We should get Stump right on the phone. His wife worked for one of these uh, like, one of these big soaps. She was a big writer for. Was one it of these. guiding light? I don't know which one it was. Yeah. What about uh, the sands through the hour, hourglass? Well, oh, days so of our are lives. the days of our lives. Well, Travis has the original radio intro. Oh, to uh, guiding light. Yes, seventy two years ago. All skate. The guiding light. <laughs> Brought to you by the makers of P and G soap, the white master soap. The what? The white master's soap. What? That oh. was a long time ago. Did it say white master no, soap? No, I don't think it did. What did it say? White. white I soap? thought it said white master soap. So did I. And you said it. Let Ooh. me hear that again. Just the end or whatever. Like that organ. <laughs> I want. The Guiding Light. <laughs> Nosferatu. Mm -hmm. Brought to you by the makers of P&G Soap. The White Naphtha Soap. The White? The White Something Map Soap. soap. Ah, I don't Something. Know. What was going on 72 years ago? Oh my One God. show, 72 years. Oh, my God. What was happening 72 years? What year years? was that? 37. Oh, 37? Well... One of our favorite uh, world leaders was just getting geared up. Is that amazing? <laughs> he was just revving up. Yeah, he was just revving up uh, his uh, war machine. <laughs> it went until 52 on the radio. 15 minute uh, 15 years. show. Then from 52 to 50 something, it was, on, it was on TV 15 minutes. And then it went to half hour. In 68, why do I know all this? And then 77, wow. it became a one hour series. Do you really know that? I read it last night. Oh, I thought you were just being Jimmy the Liar. No, no, that's all true. <laughs> oh, I actually read it last night. Oh. It, it's the white naphtha soap. Oh. What the I, hell is that? Uh, N-A-P-T-H-A. Yes. It's... For white people. <laughs> that's, how, that's how old that show is. Uh, there's distinct, you know, words have been uh, yeah, taken out of our around. vocabulary. <laughs> -da 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 -da. That friggin'. Horror organ. <laughs> yeah. By the way, if Kevin from Connecticut is writing this on instant feedback, I guess we can finally tell people that Stunt Brain has landed on his feet. He's going to be working for uh, Montel Williams. Oh, really? And, I knew uh, that. Why did I say, oh, really? And Air America. Air America, they're like rolling out a Montel Williams show, oh. and uh, they got Stunt Brain. So oh, really? We wish him nothing but the best. We were hoping he was going to continue with us, to be honest oh, with you. But uh, I know how liberal he is. Yeah. Oh, what a you fucking gotta, horrible mix that's going to be. I forgot. Perfectly. <laughs> that fiscal prick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it'll be a nice little uh, chemistry thing there. Hey, have fun. That, yeah, he'll do fine. I tell you one thing, the guiding lights, the first time I wanted to fuck Hayden Panettaria. Is that how you say that? Oh, saying? yeah, Hayden Panettaria. What was she saying? No, I don't remember. I just remember watching and going, I, I, that, she was hot. in that show? She yes. was very cute. She was one of the big stars that uh, started on there? Yeah, they had a lot of, uh, a lot of celebrities. Uh, Started on that show. Yeah. Dude, they're doing an hour a day yeah. of different material, five days a week. It's fucking mind boggling. Let's see who was How on that. There? We do four. Not TV. We don't. Not ah, TV's easy. Shooting stand and, here. Mm. Stand here. Read this card. Okay, yeah, let's move right. the lights. Dramatic left shoulder turns. Yeah, yeah. Da, da, da. Let's see. Uh, James Earl Jones. These are a few people that um, were on The Guiding Light over oh. the years. All right. Uh, Kevin Bacon. Miss Cicely Tyson. Ah. Uh, uh, Ruby D. Mira Servino, Ow. Tay Diggs, Callista Flockhart, and of course, Heroes star 
Hayden Panitarium. What did like uh, Ruby D and Cicely Tyson? What were they on? Like the sixties or the seventies? Probably, yeah. Mm-hmm. Cicely Tyson was famous in the seventies. She was Miss some- Cicely Tyson. Yeah. Didn't she pay, play Miss Jane Pittman? Pittman yeah. Uh, the autobiography of Miss Jane Pittman. And they put that makeup on her, make her look all old and shit. Hey, you guys want to know what was happening in 1937? All righty. Do we know our audience or what? We start the show talking about a soap opera. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. We rule. Uh, let's see. January 19th of that year, 1937, Howard Hughes sets a new record by flying from L.A. to New York City. Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> How many hours you think? L.A. to New York City, 1937. L.A. to New York, 1937. I'm giving it uh, 12 hours. Seven hours, 28 minutes, 25 oh. seconds. Wow. Franklin That's D. Fast. Roosevelt uh, was sworn in for a second term. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, let's oh. see. Uh, yes. La, la, la. <laughs> Ohio River floods. I'm looking for stuff. You could that- drink at a whites only fountain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. Someone's got to go through this because it, it goes month by month. This will take forever to figure out. Cigarettes were good for you. <laughs> <laughs> 27 issues later, Detective Comics introduces Batman. No one was a homo. <laughs> <laughs> Just close friends and roommates, right? Yes! <laughs> right. Close friends. Look at these two bachelors, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> they live together. What a catch they would be. They keep a clean apartment and their snappy dresses. And look, they do their own decorating. <laughs> they, ne- they never acknowledged that there were Moe's. <laughs> <laughs> look at these two bachelors, ladies. <laughs> ladies, they're quite a catch. Was it they didn't acknowledge or they just didn't? I, I don't know uh, if they didn't know if they. I have no idea. We got to get some old uh, old dude on the uh, on the phone yes. to talk about that. Did people know? I I don't I don't know. I mean, people are very aware these days, but back then, did you just look the other way? They're good friends. Yeah. Here they are having a gay time out. Yeah. Because well, all- gay means happy and fun. Not a dick in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone walked around like Regis, just clueless. Yeah, that clueless. someone might be a homosexual. A homosexual. <laughs> the homosexual is a predator. <laughs> you must guard your children against the homosexual. His perversities will get into every aspect of your life <laughs> and that of your children. <laughs> they were afraid of the homosexual back then. Wow. Yeah. The pot smoker, the homosexual, yeah. these were all just uh, dangerous people. We used to think the hole in the bathroom stall was to pass toilet paper through <laughs> when a buddy needed some. <laughs> Who invented hey, that? Hey, Mac, hand over a couple. <laughs> I have to wipe my ass. There is a guy out there. That invented that. That's, for cut That's the right. first. Who cut the first That's hole? That's what I'm saying. Who? I know who it is, actually. <gasps> Ted Glory. <laughs> Good old Ted. <laughs> Ted Glory. I sure would love to suck a penis. <laughs> Jesus, Ted. <laughs> the pesky walls. Yeah. Hey, fella. Wait a minute. If I bring my drill and I can peek. <laughs> Ted Glory. <laughs> uh, he, uh, uh. That, that is, they probably didn't know what it was for. They had no idea. They just thought it was shoddy workmanship back then. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. It's a hole doing in here. But someone just. Goodness. Could but, you pass me a lucky through there? <laughs> Boy, you are lucky. And now so am I. Do you think the guy that did that is aware that he invented that? I don't or know. Or it was just That's... one of those things, and now that guy ended up walking the earth not knowing he invented that was the, first the glory one. hole. Someone had to be the first one to cut the hole in there. Yep. It's like, well, we're getting in trouble here in the uh, lavatory. Uh, we try to have sex inside a stall, but uh, people walk in and they see four legs and realize, hey, this is a problem. Mm. So I decided I'm just going <laughs> to get my hole saw and drill a hole in there. Now we could be in our respective uh, stalls and still suck dick. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so it's a glorious time. <laughs> Maybe it was Gus and Elmer. Gus and Elmer. You think Elmer and Gus were the first ones? Elmer and Gus. <laughs> look, ladies. <laughs> They're not taken. <laughs> They're saving themselves for the perfect gal. <laughs> One with a penis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, let's go to Chris in the Poconos. Everyone attempting their 30s voice right ah. now. Chris, what's up? Hey, 
back when pedophiles were just friends of the family. <laughs> yeah, they yeah, didn't right. know about that either. Yeah, no. It was always somebody that would uh, drive up. They'd, they'd tell you, you know, look out, kids. Mm -hmm. Someone might ask you if you want some candy or if you need a ride. Stay away from these people. They could mean you harm. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, uncles are just plowing away on fucking <laughs> nieces and nephews. Up in the attic room. That could never happen. Down in the basement. <laughs> in the nooks and crannies of your house. Yes. Evil was all over. Yeah, the, the little <laughs> dark areas of the house. They did not know any better back then. Let's go to Rochester. Hey, uh... Are oh, we... Rochester! Are we voting for Brother Weezer's show? I think they're doing that March Madness again, or did we, we run it for it? I hope we didn't forget to push everyone toward their uh, radio fucking contest up there. <laughs> well, their radio fucking contest. <laughs> well, no one happened right there? <laughs> what? I thought we were on regular radio for a second. That's happened to me a couple oh, of has? times until you throw I, out the first FU. I just realized, I'm like, oh, right, we could curse. Yeah. It ha yeah, every once in a while it just hits me. Oh. Yeah, it's weird because I think we're, we, we start out not cursing right off the bat. Yeah, because we're used to uh, not cursing between like uh, six and, I don't know, whatever, nine, whatever yeah. the hell it was. So, so then, yeah, until somebody curses because I, 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 a couple of times I've just been sitting here and Either you or Jim have thrown out a F bomb or a, the S bomb. Yeah. And uh, I'm like, whoa. Yeah, they get taken aback for a second. Yeah, the pause was because I wasn't sh Oh, yeah, we could curse. So <laughs> I don't know. If it, that still happened, maybe someone could uh, help us out and tell us how, how we vote for Wheeze to win that whole damn thing again. What do you got, Todd? Hey, what's going on, uh, ONA man? Happy what? birthday, Jimmy. Hey, buddy. Cool, man. Um, well, the uh, the naphtha soap, yeah, it's an it's an old person thing. You know, my grandmother uses it from back in, you know, she's like almost 80 now. And, but it was passed on to my grandmother, and it's it's more of a yellow color now, but they swear by it, and they don't use anything. It's like a it's like an old people's shout or spray and wash. It gets out stains and crap. Oh, it's for clothes and stuff, not their body. Yeah, it's just an ugly yellow bar of soap she keeps in a plastic bag in the closet. It's really disgusting. Oh, oh. God, there's new things. And, and I bet you that soap's been around, the, the bar you're talking about, since 1937. Yeah. Naphtha. Sure. It, it never goes away. They knew how to make stuff back then where it, uh, you know, you could use it forever. All right, yeah, more 30s uh, voices coming. Ah, let's see. Steve, Long Island. Yes. Hey, what's going on? Hey. You boys are also forgetting that back in the day you could walk around as an elderly woman and not get your hat knocked off your head by a Negro. <laughs> Frunkus! <laughs> your hat. Your hat is safe, ladies. <laughs> the big, dumb I Love Lucy hats. <laughs> Kevin from Connecticut, uh, 1930s voice. I don't feel like doing this. You want to do the 30s voice? I can't do the 30s oh, voice. Oh, no, I can't read from there. Oh, you don't have an instant feedback? I out? don't have the instant feedback. It hasn't been invented yet. <laughs> Make sure you hide your young daughter away if she shows any sign of a baby bump. Yes. She has to be sent to a convent. <laughs> they would do nasty things. They just set up towns. She's away at school. Yeah. She's at boarding school. <laughs> that must have been a hell of a town. You, Your slut daughter. <laughs> yeah. You hear about the town every once in a while. Yeah, they would set oh, up like wow. just a town of pregnant little teens. Oh, when my mom was younger and she got pregnant off, oh, they, they sent her away. Yeah. Where? That would have oh. been a, a pretty cool town to visit. Down the down the basement steps first. Yeah. That didn't take. <laughs> It'd be an awful town. A bunch of fat fucking chicks who are knocked up. <laughs> <laughs> Lactating. Just eating pickles and ice cream all yeah. day long. <laughs> Back in the olden days. Where did that rumor start? Big. Pickles and ice cream. Big nasty hair. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, the good old days. Mm -hmm. 1937. For the guiding light. 